So Eric Gillis, you repeated as champion of the spring run, Harry Spring Runoff today, uh, 24-16. How'd the race go? I took it out to, at a good effort. I was just looking to get a rust buster out of this race and uh, having raced in September after the marathon and uh, wanted to enjoy the weather and a nice run in the park and turned out to be a, a good solo effort, a good uh, time for me right now where I'm at and uh, had two tough workouts already this week. One was on the track and uh, it's always nice to get a win. Today was today was that. It's a good win. You think then that uh, Harry Spring Runoff today will help you with the rest of the spring? Oh, certainly. A little under distance. I'm doing three other 10Ks this this uh, spring, and to get an 8K in as my first race, it worked well. Yeah. Uh, where are we going to see you next, Eric? Uh, April 17th, I'll be in Vancouver at the Sun Run. It's a 10-kilometer race. Then May 1st, back in Toronto for Sporting Life. Yeah, another 10-kilometer race, and then in Ottawa at the end of May for the Ottawa 10K. Where are you hoping to be 10K-wise uh, uh, by May? By the end of May, I'd like to be in the best 10K shape, um, or close to it, as close as I can get to it. Uh, so that would be, let's let's say under 29, 28 minutes on the track, I'd like to be in that kind of shape by the end of May. All right, and uh, then after May? After May, we'll, uh, we'll start getting into marathon prep mode. I'll take a little bit of downtime, and then start logging some good mileage, 200 kilometer weeks. And Looking forward to doing that with my training mates from Speed River, Reed Colset and Robin Watson. Fantastic. Is there anything that you could share with us that you really love about Harry Spring Runoff? I really love the last hill. It makes this race unique. <laughs> Well, you certainly charged up in each of the last two years in great style. Congratulations, Eric. Good luck through the rest of the spring and the rest of the year. Thank you, Alan.